Hey everyone, Girl Me's Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a current household video. I started one of these or started posting these again, I think about last week or so. And my goal is to, for the most part, have a new one every single week. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that right now I have three videos that go up in a week. I go Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. But I'm kind of thinking that maybe I'll do current households and post on the weekend on either Saturday or Sunday and then still have my three other videos during Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still trying to figure out this whole schedule with me being back. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, so today we're doing a current household and I'm continuing with the Calvin family, just kind of going from who's the oldest all the way to who's the youngest of the Hammond family. Uh, from the original siblings. So if you missed the last current household, I just shared the Calvin family with Aubrey and Ross and Brielle and Parker. And now we are moving on to their actual oldest, uh, Jared. And so we're going to be sharing what's going on with Jared and his now fiance, Jennifer, and also his cousin, Natalie Emery lives with them. So you'll get a little bit of an insight on her. Uh, and then the following current household will end up being Nicole Calvin, and then we'll move on to um, the Emery family. So that's kind of what you guys can look forward to. But I'm so excited to share with you guys this current household. I love them so much, and I'm just so excited for like all the stuff that they have going on. Uh, I do play them uh, on Twitch. I play all my current households on Twitch, actually, and I live stream them so you guys get to see you know, how they progress and all that good stuff. So make sure to go follow me on Twitch if you want to see current household gameplay. This is just going to be an update, kind of explaining, catching you guys up with like where we're at in their lives and what's going on with them. So we are in the beautiful world of Brooklyn Heights. I have played in this world for a while now. They moved here from, um, oh, St. Clair, I think. Uh, look how cute, though. There's like a the little bit more like residential suburban side over there. There's like a beach area. Like, look how cute. Oh, I, I love it. But mainly is just a city world, and that's why I really like it. It totally fits this family style, and... They're just, you know, they're young. They're just now starting their lives. And I don't know. They're a little bit of your stereotypical millennials. It's kind of how I think of it. Uh, so let's hop on over to the actual family. Okay, so they are still living in the same apartment as the last current household update. Nothing has changed in that aspect. Uh, same location and everything. But they're soon going to have to actually move. And I'm thinking that's when Natalie will go her own way as Jared and Jennifer uh, move on with their lives. So I'm going to hop on first with Jared Calvin because he's kind of our main man. Look how cute he is. So cute. Uh, anyways, so Jared here, oh my goodness, I cannot believe like he is getting so old. He has two days until he is an adult. Jared here has been known to kind of just be very lackadaisical with his life. He kind of is just going with the flow. He doesn't have any set plans. He's just taking each day, you know, day by day. And so he um, is still in the journalism career at the moment. Once he reach, reaches level five of this career, he will then move on to another career. His lifetime wish is the jack of all trades, where you have to reach level five of four different careers. Uh, and so I think this will be his first one that he reaches level five. I don't know. I haven't really put that much effort into it, to be quite honest. He's going to decide, oh, you know what? I don't think journalism is the way I want to go. I think I'm going to move on to, you know, whatever. I, don't, I haven't even decided, honestly. Uh, but he's actually doing pretty well. He's not like that huge into the writing. He just kind of does what he needs to do to get by, basically. Uh, skill wise, he does have, I think his highest skill is handiness and his writing skill is actually pretty high right now because of being in the journalism career. And yeah, Jared is honestly just, he has some big life changes happening and coming up very soon. Him and Jennifer did get engaged, which is very exciting. And if you guys look, I don't know if you can tell right now, actually, I'm gonna push play. Look at that baby bump. It's a little bit hard to tell with the sweater, but still, as you guys can see, where is the mood lip? She is pregnant. This was like something that we decided during one of my like live streams forever ago uh, to randomly just get Jennifer pregnant. Actually, I think they might have rolled the want or something like that or the wish. And yeah, 
I was really excited about it. So they are now expecting, I don't I, I don't even know when she is due, very soon for sure. And I don't know where we're going to put the baby, probably just in their bedroom for a little while, but they definitely, you know, have some things to think about. They're going to need to move to a bigger place. They probably will, you know, separate from Natalie so she can continue her life and not, you know, have a baby around and stuff, of course. And yeah, spoiled waffles. I don't know why I'm hovering on that. And just like a little bit of backstory, I mean, of course, definitely go check out, you know, the previous current household updates that will help you guys get the, the most insight on everything and but anyways they they've been together for so long okay cool um they've been together for so long that like now that they're finally having a baby they're engaged they're gonna get married i don't know it just feels like they're finally progressing because their relationship did get a little stagnant and they were having some issues with that because jennifer was getting kind of restless like hey like what are we doing here like we've been boyfriend and girlfriend forever and she's like labels aren't a huge deal for me but and she wanted a little bit more of commitment and especially when they found out she was pregnant Jared was like, okay, now's the time. Now's the time to just get engaged and let's do this. Jennifer here has two days as well until she ages up into an adult, which is just crazy to me. Um, she is still doing the sculptor career. She's a level four, so she's made some progress. Um, and she just honestly spends a lot of her time sculpting. She does freelance work, so she just sculpts for you know the city or private companies, stuff like that. Whoever hires her and she sells it out to them. She makes actually pretty good money, helps them. They, they actually all bring in quite a bit of good money, so kudos to them. Uh, and especially for never finishing college, or college, either of them, or any of them actually. It's pretty good. Uh, she does have a level eight in the sculpting career, or in sculpting skill, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and yeah, so she's just, you know, pregnant. She's going to be experiencing, like, all that fun stuff of being a mom and, like, trying to balance everything. I don't see them having a huge, huge family. Honestly, they probably will end up having one, maybe two children. Uh, but nothing more than that. They definitely aren't, like, the super family <laughs> kind of family. Uh, and then lastly, we have Natalie here, who a lot has actually been happening to her. Um, she has 10 days until she ages up, which is just ugh, so crazy. I know I say that every time, but really is. I mean, I remember when all these little Sims were born. Like, it's just so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, she right now, it says she's unemployed, but she is a writer. Um, she does publish books and everything, all that good stuff. And so that's what she's been doing is just writing away. She does have the lifetime wish to become a professional author. Uh, and so she's working towards having 4,000 simoleon per week in royalties, which she's almost at 1,000, so not, not bad, not bad. Uh, but she has been kind of getting restless of the city life. She's thinking that about maybe moving to a quieter place where she can just really indulge in her writing and focus on that. And so she probably will be moving very soon to a more peaceful, woodsy kind of area. I could definitely see her just loving to be like a very serene area. Uh, well, Jared and Jennifer love the hustle bustle of the city, so they're very, you know, opposite in that fact. She does have a romantic interest, and we had some serious drama. I had it in one of my live streams where we were playing this family, and Natalie met this guy, Andre Hastings. He's very cute. He's a cook, or I mean, I guess right now he's a spice runner, but he is in um, the cooking career, and he's like this very suave, handsome man. He's very, very cute. And she met him and they were kind of hitting it off. They were kind of going towards being serious. And then all of a sudden, um, <laughs> like seriously, he just cheated on her on spooky day at a Halloween party. And we were like, what? And so Natalie was really upset about it. She told him off and was like, whatever, buddy. And that was really upsetting for her. She'd already met some other guys and gone on dates and nothing really developed from it. She kind of had been rejected a few times. And so that's when she decided to take a break. She wanted a break from her writing and just to kind of refresh her mind. She was really upset about the Andre thing because they were pretty serious. Yeah, so she left and went to France for a little bit. She took a little vacation, cleared her mind, met some French boys. And, you know, made some wine, which is why we have the little uh, wine rack over here. Or nectar, I mean, <laughs> nectar. Uh, so she brought back some nectar from France and just, you know, kind of went and just relaxed and refreshed her mind and just kind of had, you know, her time. It was just time to be by herself. She hadn't been by herself ever. She grew up in a huge family. She's now living, you know, with roommates. It was time for her to just have her own kind of space. She did bring back this cute, like, little bird that she found is like this rare bird. Let's see if she's in here. I hope so. I'm like, 
Anyways, this is Celine. She is from France. Look how cute of a bird that is. Seriously, so beautiful. And so yeah, so she brought back Celine. So cute. Uh, and then we still have a Milo, who is a very old, old doggy. Seriously, so old. <laughs> and he's probably just gonna pass away very soon. I don't know. It's really sad, but Natalie loves him. She really does. And yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on with them. I'll give you guys a little bit of a house tour. It's a little bit difficult with um, being in the apartments, you know. Uh, but honestly, the decor has not changed, and I'm still loving it. I have not changed this 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 decor style for them in like two years or something like that. Something ridiculous. It's just really cute though. <laughs> I'm living for it. Uh, so they do have, you know, the kitchen still. Like I said, they added in the nectar rack uh, when Natalie brought back some nectar. They do already have a high chair because I think Jennifer or Jared rolled the wish for it. So we added in a high chair for the new baby. Uh, they're slowly and surely getting some, uh, you know, stuff that they need for the baby. Uh, living area and then over here is their bedroom and we'll probably get a crib soon i put it over here for the baby super super cute very cute and then bathroom not much to look at there and then they have an upstairs where we have celine and the doggy bed and then the little workspace where natalie works and also jared sometimes when he needs to uh type up a paper or write a report or whatever and then we also have Natalie's room and this photo right here, I always talk about this photo, but this is her inspiration for where she wants to move to. She wants to have like a nice little cabin house in the woods that's just very beautiful and serene and just quiet so she can just focus on her writing, maybe start a family, have a few kids, hopefully, hopefully with Andre. Right now they're back together. We'll see if they last. Who the heck knows? Uh, and yeah, so that's her little room and then she has her own bathroom So over here is where Jennifer works eventually like when they have their own house or bigger apartment or something She'll have like her own like sculptor Studio artist place or whatever because right now she has to work outside and as you can see it's snowing so <laughs> Not the most convenient or anything like that um, But yeah, they do have an amazing view like look at how gorgeous that is seriously an amazing view of the skyline and everything but they're gonna, they're gonna be moving soon. I'm kind of sad about it, but it'll be good. It'll be good uh, So yeah, so that's what's going on with them. They're just a, such a fun family to play I like that they're a little bit different in the fact that I didn't just like have them have babies right off the bat and everything They just you know have kind of developed slowly, but surely if you guys want to check out more of uh, This family and all my other current household families Make sure to go check out the playlist that I have of all the previous updates And I also have my tumblr where you guys can go and read up on the stories I post all the pictures that I take on there and I feel like it gives you a little bit more depth Depth to their characters uh, but yeah and also like I said twitch is the place to see this in action and watch my current households develop and you guys always give such amazing great storylines which is always so much fun uh, so if you want to see stuff like that make sure to go follow me on twitch as well anyways if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you're not already subscribed and you would like to be make sure to click that button down below and I will see you all in my very next video bye guys